hello everyone so today we are going to work on this generator which i can shoot and explode and just like this better but for the generator i am go i have bigger plans like making it a trap and first shots will malfunction it and then it will attract other enemies so i can then shoot again to kill the enemies who came to check on that and yeah but i haven't implemented all of this i have just implemented shooting and exploding so this barrel has a lower object health so almost on the first shot it will be exploded but here it can take a couple of shots then only it will be exploded like that so this is what i am going to work on today okay so i have imported uh this this generator model and i am going to implement a trap with this so that it's like this the way it should work is if the player shoot once this generator it will malfunction uh, that means it will emit some noise and sparks and then if uh, uh, the enemies will hear that noise so they might come and check what happened to this and when they come closer we can shoot it and uh, kill them as this explodes so that's the basic plan I have in mind right so to implement that explosive generator I am going to create a child class of this explosive barrel so let me open the explosive barrel blueprint and here you can see we need a geometry collection in order to implement the explosion or destruction of this object into pieces so right uh, so let me place one of these generate objects in the world and uh, let's go to the uh, fracture mode I don't uh, remember. All right, select this and create generate a new geometry collection as it from the selected static mesh. Select that. Now I'll save the geometry collection in the same place where the static mesh is. <coughs> Here. generator gc gc stands for geometric collection but what's the naming convention i used before oh it's gc in front of in front so gc generator okay create geometric cache fracture using Let's try right here and fracture. Okay, that seems good enough. All right, what's next? All right, I think uh, that should be it. Now let me go back to the regular mode and remove this. Wait, why can't I remove? Okay, 
it's gone here we have the geometric collection let me place it now let's uh, create a child class from this barrel by the way if you don't remember how did I implement this explosive barrel you can refer to these previous videos I have created which are already pre-added in the playlist previously so yeah you can refer to them so let me here create a child class um, I'll use the name trap because this is going to act as a trap trap generator and here instead of the barrel I'll use GC generator and let me place here it did work but it was not good let's see why I think it has to do with here in this disrupt mesh part we use this uh, FS damage so this is just a child of master field uh, this is a sort of like a force field which cause damage to those uh, geometric caches so hmm, well let's uh, just to test what if i increase this spawn transform maybe that should do more damage ah, exactly so yeah that's what we need to do uh, but let let me put a barrel also here for testing that's fine right so keep in number two for the barrel is also fine but let's see how the barrel looks I don't remember how it originally looked okay I guess that's now here oh, it's not nearly enough all right so what we can do is we can promote this to a variable I'll call it uh, damage field scale By default, we would have one 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 for the trap generator. I'll make it two two two. Okay, now this one is also properly destroyed, and this one is also not exaggerated. One more thing, we don't get this nice fading of debris that we get with the barrel here so but we can't really 
afford to keep them forever in the screen as well because those chunks are big so let's see I think we implemented some parameter in the material uh, here Uh, we have this alpha threshold and random yeah we need to copy this because we are uh, changing these parameters alpha let's see where do we fade why this search is not working ah oh, here Yeah, we are changing the alpha threshold. So, in this material also, we need to have that. But this is uh, mask material. Fine. Opacity mask. Okay. Comment from here. <coughs> Let's multiply it with this and connect. Now we should see the fading out effect. Let's check. See, it's faded out nicely. All right. One more thing. Do we see any sparks? No, it's because it suddenly shoots, explodes. Mm. Physical material. Yeah, metal. Here we can have physical material too. Metal. Then when we shoot, we will see the metal sparks. But since it is instantly exposed, in we will not see that hmm. let's see let's see we get the metal hit sound as well okay uh, uh, now how do we make this subject last longer than instantly exploding like it should take a couple of bullets before it get destroyed completely so for that maybe we can one bullet hit this like this we get the damage right maybe we can Add a health level for this subject too. Uh, health sounds bad for an inanimate object, but uh, let's say object health should be a flop. And get the object health, reduce, subtract the damage, and set. Let's say the default value. 
I'll set for 10 and here I'll call explode if this is less or equal to zero right now for the trap generator I'll make the health level object health 100 so it would require multiple shots to destroy but for the for this one shot will do one shot will do right <laughs> it didn't explode because I was I was not able to hit first time here one two three four five it takes five shots all right so I'm gonna stop this episode right here in the next episode I'm going to work on the features that I mentioned before that when I shoot the first shot if I, in the first shot this will be malfunctioned which will emit a sound and some sparks and then uh, if I shoot again it will be exploded so I'm going to use it as a trap so when it is malfunctioned it will emit a noise that attracts other enemies to check on this object so I will work on those details and also we need to add generator sounds and these spark effects all those things in next episode so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye